I'm going to share with you the total cost involved to become a nurse in the UK. So, if you are interested in this video, why don't you come with me as we look at that. Take you through the total cost involved if you want to become a nurse in the uk there are some calculations going to be done here and um, what i want to say is that don't be scared okay um i have good news for you at the end of this video so just try and watch to the end all right so you can basically see on the board that um there are quite a lot of things in here i have to share with you okay so to become a nurse in the uk there are some processes you have to go through and i have outlined them here and some of these processes require money okay and that is why i feel i have to let you know the nitty gritties of becoming a nurse in the uk so that you prepare your mind and you prepare financially towards that but don't worry don't be scared about the calculations going to be done here what i want to assure you is that um, i have good news to share with you at the end of this video so just stay tuned the values here may be too huge for you you don't have to worry i have good news to share with you okay okay so you have to first of all write the ielts and for those of you who have been following my youtube videos and other teachings i make um i've talked extensively about ielts and um i just want to retreat that is the first and the basic process you have to inculcate to become a nurse in the uk um, that is to say it is the basic requirement i mean that is needed okay so you first of all have to write the ielts now writing the ielts you have to pay an amount of um thousand seven hundred and twenty seven ghana cities which is tantamount to possibly something like two zero six pounds okay so take note of this so there is the amount you have to pay for the ielts now once you are done with your ielts probably if you pass in the first attempt you are good to go but if you have to rewrite then what this means is that you have to pay this amount again all right um i believe some people are facing a number of occasions so if you are rising like two or three times you know you are paying three times of this um which will increase the amount you have to pay i mean the total amount with regards to becoming a nation in the uk once you are done with your ielts so we are presuming that you wrote the ielts once and passed and you paid this amount that is good which is standard amount to 206 pounds all right once you are done with your ielts you have to sit for the cbt so the cbt is a field exam so, so if you're a nurse you'll be asked to answer questions in relation to nursing if you're a midwife you answer questions relating to and if you're a mental health nurse i mean you have questions that relate to uh, mental health nursing so that is the cbt for you and here to write the cbt you have to pay an amount of 700 Ghana cities. I don't know if it has been increased now, uh, which is standard amount to 83 pounds. So let's keep the calculation going. Um, I just want to assure you that you don't have to be scared of the mass and the um, huge amount I'm putting out here. Um, I have good news to share with you at the end of this video. So just stay tuned and then let's move ahead. All right. So once you are done with your CBT, probably you have to do what we call the um nmc verification you see there are two ways to this first of all you have to do what we call the home nmc verification now the home nmc verification means that the your home nmc will have to leash with the uk nmc and they will just want to find out if you are indeed the next okay so for the home nmc to verify you to the uk nmc that you are indeed the next you have to pay an amount of money which is tantamount amount to 550 Ghana cities. I don't know if this amount has been increased now, but this equals 66 pounds. All right. So that is to take note. And um, if you are in Ghana, what happens here is that if you are bonded, then it means that you have to pay an amount of money to the Ministry of Health to clear your shelf. Okay. So I haven't incorporated that on the list. All right. So you just have to take note of that. Alright, so once you have been verified by the home NMC, 
Then it is the responsibility of the UKNMC to also do what we call eligibility check. So here, what they are going to do is that they are going to um, make further confirmation just to make sure you are indeed a nurse and you are eligible to um, practice nursing in the UK. Okay, so to do this, um, you have to pay an amount of thousand. 172 Ghana cities, which is about 140 pounds. Okay, so you just have to take note of this amount as well. Now, once the eligibility check has been confirmed and the UK NMC is convinced that you are good to practice nursing in the UK, you have to complete the UK NMC application form, which is usually done online. Now, once you have completed this, you have to submit. And for you to submit the application form for the UK NMC to work on it, you have to pay an amount of 1,280 Ghana CDs, which is 153 pounds. So you also have to take note of this. Just keep the marks um, going because, I mean, I just want you to know the whole picture, okay? But I still want to assure you there is good news at the end of the tunnel. In fact, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So just stay tuned and let's move on. Now, I'm not going to talk about transport from home to um, exam center. I'm not talking about IELTS material printout. I'll leave them for now. Okay. So once all these things have been done and you are preparing to move to the UK, there are some basic things that would have to be done. And some of them include the COVID-19 test, your police clearance, and then your IOMTB test. I'll explain that into details. You see, you know, COVID-19 is on a rise. And you see, for most countries, before you get in there, you have to make sure that you do not have the virus inside you. So you need a COVID-19 test to apply for your visa as well as a proof to the UK that you are indeed negative to the COVID-19, okay? So doing your COVID-19 test in Ghana, and I know there are some basically um, approved centers you must have this test. Doing your test, I mean, outside these um, approved test centers means that they are invalid, okay? So the approved centers are likely to charge you at a cost of 550 Ghana CDs, all right, which equals 66 pounds. Okay, so we take note of that as well. All right, moving on to the police clearance. You know, security is very important. And as a matter of fact, to apply for your visa or to be successful with your visa, and um, they would want to have your police clearance. You know, the police clearance proves that you've not had any criminal issues or criminal offense. All right. So in doing so, this amounts to 100 Ghana cities. All right. That is if you want it a month later or within a space of one month. All right. But if you want it uh, as quick as possible, then you have to pay an extra fee. I think 50 cities in addition. Okay. But let's keep this amount in mind. You are paying 100 cities and it's 12 pounds. All right okay so once this is done you also need a tb test uh, i think it's one of the basic requirements to probably move to the uk all right so you just have to make sure that you do um a test a tb test and they also have a certified center to do that i would want to show you a copy i don't know if you can see this yeah so something like this this is to prove that you are free from tb okay so it's mandatory for you to do this okay so now the amount for the tb test here is 650 ghana cities which equals 78 pounds are we good yeah you are good to go i mean the values are too huge but i don't have to worry i still want to assure you that there's light at the end of the tunnel okay so basically um these are the basic things you have to pay for but moving on or switching to the other side you know once um all these processes have gone through you have to apply for your visa okay so once you've done your IELTS, your cbt your nmc verification has been done your liability check has been done your application has been submitted and the uk nmc is ready to receive you um you have to apply for your visa okay and in the course of applying for your visa, there is a fee you have to pay. So here, the amount to pay is £243. Alright, so converting this to Ghana CDs is about 
2034 Ghana cities. It might be too huge. Yeah, I understand. But let's move on. Now, once your application has been approved, your visa application has been approved, you move on to your flight cost. How much are you to pay for your flight? And it might depend on the flight you are using. If it's British Airlines, if it's Ethiopian Airlines, I mean, it depends on the flight you are using. But mostly, the British Airlines is what is used. And here, the fee you have to pay is £262, which is stands amount to 2,193 Ghana cities, alright? This is also too huge. I don't have to be scared. I mean, there's good news for you. And I'm not going to talk about travel items because that might be individual preferences, okay? Um, there's no fixed amount to buy your travel items. It's individual, okay? So I'll leave that for now. Now, once all these processes have gone through and you are in the UK, you have to finally write an exam known as the OSCE. The OSCE is the practical version of the CBT you did when you were in your home country, okay? So here, you have to pay an amount of £794, which equals about 6,648 Ghana cities. Wow! This is too huge! Yeah! So I strongly believe that you're watching this video to the very end. I mean, you are almost on the verge of giving up, okay? You don't have to. Just relax. Stay cool. I have good news for you. Alright, so if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, just click on the subscribe button right under this video. And also make sure that you are clicking on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to have it. Thank you for subscribing. And um, lest I forget, make sure you share this video to as many people as you can. And also make sure you hit the like button. All right okay so moving on you could see that there are some i have actually marked as red now what this means is that um those ones i have marked as red you have to pay them yourself okay you have to fund them yourself so initially you have to pay the ielts yourself the cbt you have to pay the fee yourself your nmc verification you have to pay that yourself your uk nmc Verification and application fee, you have to pay that yourself. Your COVID-19 test, police clearance, IOM TB test, all have to be paid by yourself. But the good news is that, you see, depending on the agency you get, or depending on the hospital you are going to work with, they may either choose to refund all this money to you, with the exception of the COVID-19 test, the police clearance, and the TB test. Okay, so it depends on the hospital you are working with, and that is the good news I want to share with you. At least most of the hospitals or agencies would cover up your visa application fee. So you wouldn't have to pay the 2034 Ghana cities. It will be paid by the hospital you are going to work with or the agency that is recruiting you. Okay. Another good news is that the flight cost will also have to be paid by the hospital or the agency that is recruiting you. And the OSCE is mostly paid by the hospital, okay? So you don't have to worry about this amount. And that is the good news I want to share with you, all right? Now, in as much as they are taking care of the greens, I mean, the numbers in the greens, um, as I don't mentioned, some would refund your IELTS amount. They will refund your writing of CBT fee. They will refund your um, UK NMC eligibility check. They will refund your UK application fee. And, I mean... You see, so you don't have to worry about you putting in too much money. That's why everyone said I don't have to worry about the mathematics or the calculations or the numbers on the board. Okay, you don't have to worry about that because depending on the hospital you get, they may probably have to pay about half of the total cost. So now let's look at the total cost involved. So remember, we have excluded your travel items, we have excluded transport from home to the examination center, probably my living far from the test center you have to pick a car you have to go and live in a guest house you have to i mean all having been factored here all right and your eye passes materials you have to print out and then practice all those costs have not been involved in here okay so i just wanted us to look at the general thing or the general cost when you want to finally become a nurse in the uk all right so compiling all these costs or all these numbers um you have to pay an amount worth 2,103 pounds okay so converting this amount to Ghana cities 
we are paying something like 17,604 so now this is in the new currency I actually love to do my calculations in the old currency okay so this is about 170 million old Ghana cities which is quite huge I mean it's too huge okay but the good news and the good news and the good news is that mostly I mean a greater part of the cost will be covered by the hospital you are going to work with or the agency that is recruiting you and the least you can get is the agency trying to pay for your visa application your flight cost and uh, possibly the hospital will take care of the OSCE so you see adding up these numbers you can see that huge amounts can be deducted from the total cost and I mean we are good to go and then if you are lucky most of the hospitals or agencies as I don't mentioned will refund your IELT, your CBT, your um, eligibility check fee, and application fee as well. Okay, so that is a good news for you, all right? But another good news I have to share with you is that so it, you see this total cost here. Once you are fortunate to come to the UK and then you start work, you can end this in a month, all right? So this is your month's pay and even more. So you can even use one month of your salary to cater for every cost you incurred right so this is basically what i want to let you know i just wanted to open your eyes to uh, what is ahead of you and um i think that will help you prepare your mind and also um be prepared financially to meet that task you know to become who you want to become you must invest you must put in money and that is what i have exposed you to uh, but I just know that you may have to spend more than what is here if you have to write ielts on two or three or four times because each one will have to bear this cost and another thing which I believe you are not happy to hear also is that you see there are some of the agencies that may also tell you to fund for all that I've said on the board and once you get to the UK they will refund the money to you so I mean it depends on the agency or the hospital you are going to work with okay so at the mention of agencies I hope you are thinking of agencies that can give you this opportunity that can try to pay almost everything for you you don't have to worry in my next video i'll be sharing with you some of the common agencies i mean the authentic agencies you have to dwell with i mean there are some fake ones out there who will eventually end you at where you don't wish to be or where you are not desiring to be so if you want to know more about the authentic and original agencies that will possibly give you this opportunity then subscribe because until you subscribe you are not going to get to see my next video all right see you